All right. Well, before you is my recently acquired FX7. And sort of being somebody who has a sort of a disability, I've always kind of really liked characters who, you know, kind of don't have that much going for them, but yet you can kind of inject a lot of character or a lot of, I don't know, you can, you can do a lot with them if you use a bit of imagination, you know. So you've got this guy who on paper really isn't the best figure at all. I mean, he is literally uh, an anorexic Dalek who has, I guess, not much character. Um, but looking at him a bit further, I mean, he's actually one of the most articulated of the vintage Star Wars figures. If you class these as points of articulation, they are kind of just bits of plastic that you can slightly move and bend until they eventually snap. But when he has them extended like this, I always kind of thought it was pretty cool that he could kind of do a, a, a flying multiple kind of kick, you know. So, I don't know, let's grab General Madine or whatever he's called. So, you know, you kind of get do this kind of multiple kick to somebody's face is a pretty decent move. And uh, to kind of add to the tragicness to this character, uh, as you can see, my one does have somewhat of a, a limp kind of arm there going on. So that's somewhat tragic there. But again, like with that on there, I mean, that does pretty much scream exterminate, exterminate. Um, his other sort of action feature, I guess, if it's classed as an action feature, is that his head can turn, mine is somewhat stiff, and can also extend. Again, with this one, I always always kind of have him where, you know, I kind of pretended that, like, yeah, has a rocket in there and stuff, so he could kind of fly around and stuff. But what he would do is he would, he would go up to people, and then I used to pretend that this was kind of hydraulically kind of powered, and that would just kind of go... And when he extended that, they would literally just smash people into walls and stuff. So, for all it, again, like, you know, he's, he's rather limited. Uh, I still really quite liked him. And, you know, he kind of has this kind of one big eye and stuff. And he's kind of cute, I guess. But the, 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 the greatest thing is that you can actually take uh, one of the regular, I believe this is a Stormtrooper blaster. And if you kind of stick it on his arm here that does sort of wedge there and I think that actually looks pretty menacing you know he's kind of you could just see him sort of swaggering down the street there you know kind of uh, you know ch -ch 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 so I think by doing that again it adds another element to his character you know you could have him as a, a bounty hunter or uh, you know, I don't know, possibly even James Bond there, you know, kind of coming on. So, that's just my take on it. Uh, you know, I do like characters who are somewhat tragic and limited, but with a little bit of imagination, they can do a little bit more than previously uh, thought. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all later on.